I wanted to tell you guys my 10 surprises, the things that I totally didn't expect. You are not gonna believe one of these. It has nothing to do with weight loss or even eating but it is absolutely one of the things that has surprised me the most. Before I get started, I do want to say that this video is being sponsored by Love Good Fats, and I am going to go into that in a minute, but thank you, Love Good Fats, for sponsoring this video. In 2018, I lost 50 pounds on Weight Watchers. I still have about 30 to 40 pounds to lose, so I kind of just kind of stalled. I am one of those people that if I have really stuck to a program for a long time, it is very hard for me to like buckle down and go right back to that program like really hard, which clearly I was not because I wasn't losing anymore. And keto was the one that I wanted to try the most. I wanted to tell you guys my 10 surprises, the things that I totally didn't expect. I am really never hungry. I am actually very surprised about that. You are eating a higher fat content in your meals. And so therefore that fat sustains you so much longer. I'm actually amazed that I don't feel like I have to go grab something to eat constantly. I did lose five pounds in the first week and that totally surprised me. Now, I do know that a lot of that was water weight. That is a very common thing that happens with keto in your first week or two. You do lose a little bit more weight than you actually thought you would but I didn't gain it back. So it, the five pounds was gone and that just spurred me on to keep going. So that was a bit of a surprise. The third thing that surprised me was how much information is out there for you to go find out about keto. There are several channels that I have really watched a lot of. I'm gonna link them below because they have helped me tremendously. So one of the things that has surprised me is the fact that IF is so much easier on keto than it was on Weight Watchers. I did Weight Watchers about a month and a half with IF. What was hard was getting from the last meal in the evening, which was around six, seven o'clock, to the next meal the next day, which was my lunch, around 11 or 12 o'clock. It was hard sometimes. I was much more hungry because the meal on Weight Watchers wasn't as satiating. It didn't have a higher fat content as my keto meal does. So it doesn't keep me going as long. It's not that it's impossible, but it was definitely easier doing it with keto. The fifth surprise is that I am shocked how many carbs are in certain foods. That blew me away. The things that I thought were a healthy alternative, like it was a good thing to eat on a low carb meal, was not what it was. For instance, I love Brussels sprouts, and Brussels sprouts are keto friendly. There is one gram of carbs in each normal size Brussels sprout, one. Are you kidding me? So you should be getting your carbs from vegetables. So instead of going and saying, I'm gonna eat this piece of bread and have 10 carbs for this one piece of bread, it's far better to eat 10 Brussels sprouts and have 10 carbs from that. But it absolutely blew me away that Brussels sprouts were so high. Marinara sauce, oh my heart. Rao's marinara sauce is considered one of the best. And there is five grams in a half a cup. Black beans and kidney beans, there are 13 and 14 grams of carbs per half a cup. That used to be one of my staples on Weight Watchers because it was zero points on the purple plan. And now I don't eat them anymore because they're so high in carbs. Now, of course, I could have a couple in there in like a chili or something like that. But of course, I have to count for it. So I'm just shocked at how many grams are in beans. The other thing that completely shocked or surprised me with how many grams of carbs are in things is like protein bars or considered healthy bars. Okay, I am so excited to tell you about Love Good Fats. Let me tell you all about the nutritional things about it. First off, they're delicious, like delicious. So even my daughter Rachel thinks they're amazing. They have clean ingredients of only one to two grams of sugar per bar. Keto certified, all the bars are either four to five net carbs. 
That's unbelievable. And the good news is, is they have given me a 20% code that you guys can put in. I'll put it below so you guys remember, but then you get 20% off. Now, as far as those of you who are on WW, because I still believe in WW, I think it's a wonderful program. Let me give you the points values of the bars. If you are trying one of the nutty bars, one of these deliciousness things, <laughs> It is around six points, so not a horrible count. This is pretty good. The truffle type bars are seven points. So the thing that sets these apart is that they are high in good fats and high in dietary fiber, making them low in net carbs. Okay, so the truffle type ones, these are the flavors, oh my heart. Peanut butter chocolatey, mint chocolate chip, coconut chocolate chip, cookies and cream, lemon mousse, and chocolate chip cookie dough. And can I just tell you, the chocolate chip cookie dough was my favorite because they had tiny crunchy little things in there. Oh, so good, dipped in coffee, yum. So the three types of the nutty kind are dark chocolate, sea salt, and almond. Then they have a peanut chocolatey type, so it's got kind of a peanut buttery type of flavor to it. The third one is salted caramel. Oh my heart, it's just so good. And you can see it's chewy, but it's got all of these flavors in it and all of these different textures. And it just is interesting to eat. It's not a boring kind of just all the same chewiness kind of thing. So these are gonna help you stay fueled throughout the day. The calorie counts for all the bars are from 190 to 210. So it could be a meal replacement if you needed it to be. And thank you, Love Good Fats, for partnering with me and sponsoring this video. I am surprised how many alternatives I can find in the things I like like the Love Good Fats bars, but also foods that I normally like to eat. There are so many recipes on Pinterest, on YouTube, where you can go find some great alternatives. I love chaffles. If you don't know what a chaffle is, look that up. But if you need an alternative for pizza, this is your thing. You need a chaffle. I also am surprised how easy it is to track my carb count. There is an app called Carb Manager that is a free version. This makes it so much easier. It tracks all your macros and I am not finding it hard at all to find the foods that I normally eat. And it does have a bar scanner. So it just makes it so much easier to track what's going on and to know are my fats and my protein and my carbs in alignment because there there is a percentage for all that that you need and this tracks it for you so you don't have to be worried about where you are. This is one of the things that has surprised me the most and it has nothing to do with weight loss or measurements or nutrition. Well, I guess it does have to do with nutrition because this was the result. My hair <laughs> has stopped shedding. Now, that is the thing. I. I'm almost positive. Now, I can't say unequivocally that it is because I went to keto, but the coincidence is just too strong. I have been struggling with shedding for the past two years. My hair has just been, now I have thick hair, so you would never know it. But you see it when I part it here. Everyone, I've shown it a couple times in my videos where I notice that I'm having my hair go back on my sides here and I just feel it thinner in the back. And when I wash my hair, no matter what happened, I'd have hair just clung to my hands and it would just come off. I was just amazed. Now, not like I had gone through chemotherapy kind of falling out, not that kind of thing, but just more than usual, way more than usual. And it has been really bothering me. And literally within about two weeks of switching to keto, it has slowed down dramatically. I will keep you guys updated. I'll let you know if anything changes. I can't think of any other coincidence. I'm not taking a medication that would help. I'm not taking hormones. I'm not taking something else that would be any drastic change. It was just switching to keto. I still think Weight Watchers is an amazing program. So please don't get me wrong but I do think there is a correlation over the fact that on Weight Watchers, I very rarely had fats because fats on Weight Watchers is such a high point value and I tried to be lower. Now I thought to myself, I'm eating so many vegetables and fruit 
I'm getting all these nutrients, which I am. I think there's something there with fat being in my diet. And now I will tell you flat out, I have not researched. I have looked a little bit, but not dug deep into this. So if anyone knows anything, please put that below. But I just know that that's what happened to me. And I am thrilled over that. Okay, the other surprise, I have lost in the two months 12 pounds. And so that was just huge for me to be able to say that I am on weight loss again. Now let me tell you my all my numbers because that's the thing that's so exciting. Like I said, I lost 12 pounds. So that obviously was a surprise. Could I have lost 12 pounds doing Weight Watchers and being really strict? Of course, I know I can. Weight Watchers is a good program. I will never knock it. I think it's a very well-balanced diet. So, but I did lose 12 pounds, and so therefore, obviously this is working for me. The other surprise was I took my measurements the day I started keto, I took it. And I measured all of those same measurements this morning, and I lost 13 and a quarter inches around my entire body. I am in shock. The biggest thing that I lost was in my belly fat. I lost five inches around my belly. I'm like, okay, that one was a yay. <laughs> now I am, my body type is very much a pear shape. I just get bigger as I go down and I have very large hips for my body. That's just the way I am. My waist has always been a lot thinner than what my hips are and butt and all that stuff. So for me to lose weight in my belly was huge because it just means it's going down. Now, did I lose a huge amount on my hips? Um, I lost an inch off of my hips, which is still good. Uh, an inch, I'll take it. So I just am excited because inches is what I want. I mean, weight is what I want, of course, but inches are something you see. So that was just such a huge surprise. The other surprise is how much it helps to get inspiration from other women who are going through similar things, not just keto, but just weight loss. So this is a shameless plug, although it doesn't make me money or anything like that. It's just a shameless plug for a group that I started on Facebook. If you are in Weight Watchers Keto, Paleo, whatever it is, it does not matter what program you're on. If you are a woman who is over 40, and needs to lose weight, you are welcome to be part of this group. It's called Mindful Health. It's on Facebook and it's a private group. I will link it below and you can go on. You need to answer some questions to see if you are eligible to be in this group. So answer those questions and agree to the rules. And I would love to have you on there because this has been such a huge difference in the last few weeks, and it's only a, a couple weeks old, and we're over 800 group members, and it's just a positive place, so positive, so uplifting, so inspiring, and we share our struggles, and we share our wins, and it's just been a really good boost to my weight loss journey, and it might be helpful to you. So I would encourage you, if you fall within those parameters, to join our group and be part of the conversations going on there. Don't forget to check out the Love Good Fats. You guys will not be disappointed. I'm gonna link everything below. Love Good Fats, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. I appreciate you. I appreciate what you are doing with your company. I will see you all in the next video. God bless.